All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So this is the last video you're going to see before you start uh, mixing and editing and doing all that kind of stuff. All right. So we're just going to set up some uh, some markers and these markers are going to indicate what section of the song uh, is in that area where the marker is. OK, so we're going to go right here to global tracks, this little icon right here. The shortcut is G. So if I press G, there it goes. Or if I press the icon, there it goes. So the next thing I'm going to do is go over to where it says arrangement right here. And then we want to go to this little plus sign right here. And we want to click on that. Okay. Now what this does is see how it says right here, it says intro. This is setting up a marker to show you where the intro in the song is. And if I'm not mistaken, it goes from measure two to 10, but we're going to do one to 10. All right. So we're going to drag. All you have to do is bring your mouse to the, to the end of the marker. See that, see how it changes. And we're going to go to measure 10. I'll zoom in. There's measure 10. And then we need to hit that plus sign again. And then that plus sign is going to set up another mark. So uh, if I'm not mistaken, the pre-chorus or the B section is right after 10. So I'm going to hit play from measure eight. Right. So this is the pre-chorus or the B section. This is the core. This is what happens before the actual chorus. So I'm going to click right here next to where it says verse and you get these two little arrows and I'm going to go down to rename and I like to rename these B section. I don't like saying pre-chorus for some reason. I don't know I'm weird, I guess. And I'm going to go to the end of this section to see if that's where the chorus comes in. Because usually it's B section or pre-chorus and then chorus. So I'm going to start from here. Yep. And it looks like the chorus starts on measure 18. So if we go to measure 18. Yep. So we're going to minimize this again. And then I am going to click uh, arrangement again. And now it says chorus. Now this obviously is chorus for sure. So I'm going to go to the end of the chorus and hit play and see what's at the end of that. So it's twice. So we need to find out uh, where the chorus ends, right? So I'm going to go from 27. Now you see there, it, that's where the chorus ends, which is measure 34, measure 34. This is going to change, but for right now, uh, that's good. So I'm actually going to go back to where it says intro and I'm going to call this uh, intro. I'm going to call this intro slash verse one like that. Boom. And next thing I'm going to do is just like with everything else, I'm going to make sure that I color these. OK, so bring up the color palette. Once you have this, the marker uh, uh, selected, sorry, bring up the, the color palette. And usually I like to do uh, I'll do like red for intro B section. I'll usually do like a teal or whatever that color is right there. And for choruses, uh, depends on the situation, but I usually like to use pink. So see, now I have them colored. And then the chorus after the chorus is, um, is the chorus out or the end of the song. So we're going to set up one more marker. See where there is no bridge in the song. So I want to click on where it says bridge and I'm going to call this chorus chorus out. All right. So here we go. Chorus out. Uh, chorus out usually means the last chorus and then the song ends kind of thing. That's what chorus out means. Um, let's see. Let's color that. I don't know. Dark blue, I guess. But here's the thing. Um, if you go over to your notes right here, the notes pad in logic, click on that. You're going to see that the client has already left you some notes. They've already left you some notes right here. All right. So one thing the client is asking for, they want to double up the last chorus. 
that want to double up the last chorus. I'm going to do this one with you. I'm going to walk this one with you or walk through this one with you. And then this, these notes right here, you're going to do on your own. So let's close the notepad. And the artist wants to double up the chorus. They want to hear the chorus twice. And then, I mean, one more time, like one more round of it. And then they want to end it. So this is this. This right here, this marker shows you that this is the chorus, right? So here's the beautiful thing about track stacking. I'm gonna close out the global tracks. I'm gonna close all of my track stacks, right? Now, if I'm taking, uh, actually, I'm gonna open global back up. If I'm taking this chorus and I'm gonna double it, instead of having to select all of these tracks, you can just close the track stacks, all right? We're gonna go, we're gonna bring the, the playhead right here, select everything, and we're gonna select our scissors, and I'm gonna cut right here at measure 18, and then I'm gonna go over here to 33, and it looks like the course ends on 34. So I'm going to go right here to 34 and boom, I just cut that out. Now see the chorus, the last chorus is right here and it's already playing twice. She wants to double this up. So she wants to hear this two more times at the end. Why? I don't know. Artists just do weird things like that. Sometimes. So we're going to take this section right here, which is our chorus out and we're going to move it. We're going to move it out of the way, completely out of the way. Move it all the way out of the way, right? Because you're going to create a double of this chorus. So let me just back this up a little bit more to make sure. So we're moving that. Now, again, the, the, the artist is going to want to hear this chorus uh, doubled up one more time. So there's a couple ways we can do this. Here is the easiest way to do this. We are going to highlight all three of these stacks, command and the letter R, and that creates, that doubles it up. Uh, let's hit command Z. The other way to do it is to highlight everything. Option, click and drag, you know how to do this already, and drop it in. One more way to do this. All right, this, this is the way I would usually do it unless I was like in a rush. So again, the beautiful thing about stacks is instead of having to cut all these, select all of these tracks and cut them, I can just close all the stacks, make my cut right here and right here. And let's say that I wanted to, to move the course this way by the way this is called flying the course or flying the blank so in this case i'm flying the course over so i'm gonna see I, these are all the tracks that were in the stacks the, the other way to do it is just to highlight everything press command r or option click and drag right there now look what happens um i'm gonna command z let's command z that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens at the end of this, this file right here, or these files. See, it just ends obviously, but let's, let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's double that up. So I'm going to hit command R and now watch. See, so we just flew the chorus over. We flew the hook over. Now that being said, this is obviously not chorus out anymore, right? So we need to take this chorus or is it chorus out? Hmm. The answer is it can be the chorus out because this is the last chorus before the ending. So we're going to, um, again, we can highlight all of these files or we can close the stack like this, right? Close the stack. And now I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring all of these sections over and here's what I'm going to do here on, on my marker. I'm going to make this chorus out and then I'm going to add one more marker and I am going to click right here where it says outro and make sure that it says outro. And then I'm going to color this 
um, red. So boom, now I have all of my markers. I have all of this stuff set up. It's beautiful. Uh, one last little trick, little um, nice little trick right here I'm about to show you. Uh, if you hold control and you click right here in this area, you can turn, you can get rid of the stuff you're not using. So for instance, markers, signature, tempo. I get rid of these because I don't use these very often. So especially when I have my my marker set up. So I'm going to click in this area, hold control, click. I'm going to deselect marker. Control click, deselect signature. Control click, deselect tempo. See, and now I can have the global tracks open and it's not going to be a problem. Right? Boom. So make sure you have all of this set up. And you got your track stacks and everything else. Now, um, before we end this video, there's uh, one more thing we need to talk about. Stay here for a second. What's going on, guys? So hopefully you've mastered the skills that I taught you in these last few videos. This is Intro to Mix Part 2. This is a small session, but it's a pop session. It's not just guitar vocal like the other one was. Anyway, hopefully you mastered those skills. And now you have to take everything that you've learned in Logic so far and put it to use. No more tutorial videos on how to mix for this project and certainly not for the next project. Anyway guys, go ahead and get started with your mix in three, two, one.